Often we're trained to walk away from discomfort, to walk away from challenge. And a subtle shift can get you to a point where you want to run at that thing. And what does a lion hate the most? When his prey starts running at him. My name's Jeff Wilson. I'm a polar explorer, expeditioner. Um, my interest is in the very limits of human endurance, particularly in a desert environment, whether it be polar or the Saharan type desert. I'm also a family man and a veterinarian, live on the coast. It's an exciting day talking to the sons, uh, just about lessons learned in the wild places. Distill down a few really simple key tenets to surviving in really hostile places on the planet. The key tenets to an athlete performing at his highest ability are really similar to an expeditioner crossing a brutal landscape. The time frame is much different. You know, we've got um, two solid halves of footy as compared to you know, my shortest journey, 42 days, 53 days. This next journey, I'm going to Antarctica at the end of the year, could be 90 days. So the time frame is different, but the amazing thing is the, the mental toughness that you can develop and your attitude to challenge, attitude to risk, um, you know, that ability to pull a game out of the fire when you look absolutely assured of losing is very similar to the mental toughness required to survive an Antarctic storm or to do a crossing that people have previously tried and died or, or not been able to do. Um, for example, our Torres Strait crossing, I was the first to lead a team to kite surf from Australia to Papua New Guinea. And the first two guys to do that uh, died, they disappeared. So the mental toughness to back yourself and to go and do that journey and do it safely, do it well, get across in one piece. Very similar to what a high-end athlete needs to, to do to back himself or herself, getting on the paddock, performing at their best and coming home with a win. If you don't have a map of where you want to be, when things are going horribly wrong, it doesn't rise up in you to fight, fight your way back. 